As much as I love ChatGPT, I'm always trying to explore new tools to enhance learning and audio learning is seriously taking off. It's an awesome way to absorb information on the go. In this video, I'll show you tools like Notebook LM owned by Google and how it can quickly transform notes into audio. Quiero una pizza. Classic. Classic. I mean, who doesn't love pizza? Super, super powerful and the results are astonishing. Welcome back to my channel everyone. Today we're digging into Notebook LM and the power of podcasts and really what it can do to our learning experiences. So not only as an e-learning designer am I always trying to check out the latest trends, I'm also trying to learn a language. So this is so handy for me when I come across something new that really makes a difference to my learning experience. And this one really did get me. So the big difference between Notebook LM and ChatGPT, Perplexity or Claude AI, which I've discussed a lot before, and compared. Notebook LM is only giving you data from whatever you give them. So for example, you need to give them a piece of text, you need to give them a PDF, you need to give them a link, and then they will respond according to the data you've given them. The great thing about this is that it's very personalized and there's also less errors. So first of all, let's have a look into why audio learning is so important. Audio learning is gaining popularity for one simple reason. It's great for busy lifestyles. I personally listen to podcasts every single morning on my walks because that's really great for me. I'm able to do my walk and listen at the same time on the go. You can't really do that if you're watching a video. It's not the same. Obviously for me this really does make an impact and for so many others it will as well. And it also caters for auditory learners. And to be honest it's not even about convenience as well. It's also about increasing retention and making the learning accessible to anyone, whether you're an auditory learner or not. So I'm going to show you how AI can generate a podcast style conversation where two people are talking about a specific topic and it's really engaging and you can't even tell that it's AI. It doesn't sound robotic, it sounds really engaging and it's a great way to learn. So this audio element in Notebook LM has recently been launched not long ago and it's been a talk of discussion, even Spotify using it because I can see what it really can do. So let's get started with the demo. So if you type in Google Notebook LM, you'll see it comes up. When you click on there, you'll see Think Smarter, Not Harder. And then you've got Instant Insights. So you can have all your sources in one place. See the source, gain confidence in every response clear citations, and then listen and learn on the go is the one we're gonna look at today. So all you need to do is you need to click on Try Notebook LM. It will give you instructions, upload, convert, and then key resources or notebooks if you want to share. Click Create. So here you'll see add sources. So as I said to you earlier, Notebook LM needs your data in order for them to give you a response. So you need to give them something, whether it be, you know, a marketing plan, course reading, research notes, meeting scripts. You need to paste that in there or upload it. It can even be a YouTube video, a URL link, whatever it may be. So today I'm gonna to show you how to use it with two PDF files. So I've actually created these on ChatGPT. I'm focusing on four areas that I really wanna narrow down and understand more. So it'll be ser versus estar in Spanish and quiero and hace Spanish grammar, A1, A2 level. So guess what it did? A PDF file. So I want to be able to reinforce this more because I need to really fully understand these errors before moving forward in the language. So you'll see here the, the two PDF files are now there on the left hand side. So I've given it its data. Now what I can do is I can ask a question regarding any of the data I put in there. Let's say what is to one in Spanish. And now it's replied with an answer. And this is all from the PDF files that I've given them. Again, I've taken from ChatGPT. So here's a breakdown. And then here you can click whereabouts it is in the PDF document it's found that. So you don't have to search for it, it will tell you. So summary of this piece of text. So you've got even key topics here, tags. So really, really handy to kind of narrow down the information, especially if you've got loads of notes from a meeting or you know, you've taken notes from a course and you're trying to learn or a lesson. So now let's get to the fun part, the audio generation. So you'll see on the right hand side, it says audio overview. So if you click on customize, it will say things to try. You can focus on specific topic or target audience. But today we're going to be focusing on generating. So click generate and then wait maybe 
couple of minutes, five to 10 minutes, depending on how much data you've given them. So I've not tell, told them anything, I've clicked generate. I don't know kind of what accent it is, who it is, male, female, what the voice is. I'm just gonna see what they give me first of all. I'm excited to see what it is. All right, so you're ready to uh, really level up your Spanish speaking? Yeah. We're doing a deep dive today into some verbs that uh, might seem pretty basic at first, but they're sneaky. They are sneaky. Yeah. There's a lot more to them than meets the eye. A lot of nuance. Yeah, and we've got some great material here to help us kind of unpack all that. So we're looking at quiero versus haste, and then the infamous sar versus a star. The two big ones. The two big ones that... Uh, trip everybody up. Yeah, trip everybody up. But once you get these down, you're really well on your way oh, to... Oh, their conversations. Exactly. Yeah. So let's jump right in with quiero. Okay. Right? The verb to want. Now, our source material gives us the example. Quiero una pizza. Classic. Classic. I mean, who doesn't love pizza? Who doesn't? But, but when we say quiero, what's really going on there? So it's interesting because it's expressing that personal desire, right? I want this thing. But it's also got a little more politeness pan into it. Oh, okay. Than maybe just saying, yeah. give me. Gotcha. Right. So it's, I want you. Yeah. But in kind of like a, a nice way. And you see this a lot, like, quiero agua, por favor. I want water, please. <laughs> you know, so you're stating your need. Yeah. Wow, I'm shocked. So that is really, really good. I'm not going to lie. Like, this has been created from just that one PDF where I simply just bullet pointed what they are and they've really made it engaging. First of all, really nice opening conversation, very relatable. Like, you know, they've said, oh, it's one of those things, you know, where it can be a bit tricky. I like the fact that they've also kind of emphasized the different ways you can use it. So they said there, it's not really like saying, give me pizza, give me the pizza. It's kind of more like I want the pizza. And obviously, I'm going to listen more into it and they'll dig deeper. But I love the fact that they're having a conversation and you could just do your morning walk and listen to this. What are your thoughts on this? I really like it and I'm excited to start using this every single morning. So I'm going to listen to it for about 30 more seconds and then I'm going to go into the creative ways that you can start implementing podcasts into your learning materials. But in a way that's socially acceptable. So it's not demanding. Right. It, it, it's more like politely expressing. Yes. Yeah, I like that. Okay. So we've got quiero for that kind of personal desire. I want this. Now how about hace? I know it means to do or to make. If someone's Spanish here, correct me if I'm wrong, I thought it was hace. Uh, that's what I've been practicing anyway. So yeah, there, there could be a slight pronunciation issue there. So now let's look at the different creative ways that these can be used. First of all, it could be, you know, guides and lectures. Really good for taking notes, I mean, articles, study guides, and turning them into audio. So learners can review the concepts, you know, while they're on the go. And then we've got interactive learning path. So for example, you could have an audio element after each module and reflect on what they've learned. It could be supplementary materials for visual learners. So you could turn text heavy content like graphs or infographics into audio descriptions. So you could cater for different learning preferences. Obviously what I've been discussing today language learning. You could use the audio to practice vocabulary, grammar, verbs, whatever it may be. You can practice listening skills. Of course, it allows you to practice listening and speaking skills. You can listen and say out loud. And I think it's really, really good for accessible course materials, especially for learners with disabilities as well. I think audio is great for creating inclusive learning experiences. You can provide audio versions of textbooks, guides, or quiz instructions as well. So now let's compare no Notebook LM to other tools out there that are quite similar. So with Speechify, you can create long form texts like lectures, books, or articles into clear natural sound speaking. Um, it's not necessarily like a podcast, but it allows you to have audio files. And then we also have Notion, but that's not, you can't use Notion for audio files. It's more for generating and gathering notes, etc. So whether you're creating study guides or, you know, course materials, or you're trying to learn in a different way, more accessibility. AI tools can help you shift to audio learning. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'll also pop a link below so you can check out Notebook LM yourself and see what it's all about. If you guys did like this video, do give me a thumbs up, a like, and don't forget to subscribe for my weekly videos. Also, don't forget to check out my video covering ChatGPT, Perplexity, and Claude AI. If you also want to understand more about other research assistants, kind of stepping away from audio and more to do with research AI, assistance and things like that. Thanks guys for watching. Have a good one.